So what do you need? Besides a miracle. Guns. Lots of guns. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that might have been when they revealed it. But I remember after they revealed it, there was a press release that went up, and I read the press release, and in there they said third person shooter and i remember reading that being like there's that, that can't be right right like this is a third person this doesn't look like a third person shooter and now that i'm seeing the game I'm like oh no that makes sense <laughs> this is for sure a third person shooter but i think from the first couple of trailers where you're getting a lot of cinematics and you're getting a lot of tastes of hey rocksteady's back this game is in the rocksteady arkham universe and also you're playing these characters and it's very cinematic focus you are not getting a sense of what the actual game is yeah! Okay, my first comment to this is... Can we get serious now? Because I think we need to. Because everything I showed on the screen while he was talking was showcasing the first trailer of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And if you're telling me by looking at that you didn't see any form of shooting involved, you are blind, my friend. And I will continuously roll out the trailers from previous years. And you can see the majority of what you're seeing right now is what you saw in that gameplay, just in a cinematic way compared to the actual gameplay itself. And we had snippets of gameplay in between. You can see fully, fully that everybody is shooting. Everybody is shooting. Look, we've got King Shark with a minigun. The whole grapple thing. Oh, she looks like Spider-Man. You've seen it. You saw it many times. Do not sit there and lie to people and tell them that you didn't think that this was what it was going to be. Because back two years ago at DC Fandom, which I will actually pull up the video and you can see the like to dislike ratio. It's only on DC though. I didn't check other, other sources. But on DC, it had 10 million views on it. And the majority of was positive in the like to dislike ratio. Then the second trailer dropped a year later. The overall consensus, as you see here, like 348,000, it got 10 million views, 348,000 people thought it looked good. And then a year later, they dropped another one. It only got 3.2 million views and it got 96,000 upvotes. And then a year ago again, 1.9 views and 60K upvotes compared to next to nothing in the downvote space but to, to literally sit there this this uh, podcast on uh, skill ups channel was as of recording this was like six hours ago on uh, on his channel and i i was just listening to it i just wanted to see what they thought and then this dude popped up and started talking and i'm just like are you blind do you not pay attention i can understand people you know you've got your lives you know if you're not fully into the gaming sphere as a whole all the time you know tuned on researching etc that's kind of what youtubers are for but don't sit there and tell me that the first two trailers didn't look like it was a shooter I i'm sorry but i'm just gonna call bullshit on this one absolute bs on this one it kind of annoyed me that's the reason i'm probably making this video obviously at this point people didn't know it was going to be a live service they didn't know there was going to be a battle pass until that leaked i can fully understand that and the fact that people don't like certain people not everybody this includes the people that are very vocal on social media as well as other youtubers just because they don't like it doesn't mean that it's not popular and other people are like well i'm uh, i already play live service games and i've committed a lot of time to this i don't want to commit more time to that well i'm sorry but that's, that's it's up to you you know i'm typically not somebody that commits to any live service game i'll play it i'll enjoy it and i'll move on and as long as the experience is good it will keep me there longer and longer if it isn't good that's basically the time that i decide right it's time to go somewhere else there's a variety of games out there across you know multi genres etc and for me there's too much variety to go around i like variety in my life and therefore i like superheroes too so i'm going to be playing this like i said on release i'll see you there and remember nobody's forcing you to play you can do what you want with your own money i don't care what you do with your own money there's plenty of variety out there in the gaming sphere so go check out some other single players as well as you've got Wonder Woman on the way. There's nothing wrong with saying this game isn't for me. I'm just going to walk away. I know it's a bit of a rant. Hope you, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please support it with a like because it really helps out me on the channel and helps get fresh eyes on the channel as we head towards that 1,000 subscriber milestone. Subscribe for more upcoming games. You'll find other games on my channel if you want to check those out. You'll find social links down below if you want to support me in that space. Hit that notification bell. And as always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.